Hello. This is the the base stuff. The uh, it doesn't look very great right now. It's uh, this browny colour. It doesn't do the models any justice. It'd be nice if you went to the desert or something like that. I don't know what you call it. It's like a like a mixture between sort of gravel and dirt. You get for pet stores. It's for reptile tanks. It looks nice once it's painted up though. It really makes the model pop. So I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, paint this and let you have a look. I wish the phone would focus better. Right, eh? Uh, well, let's see how that goes. Paint on my thumb already. Nothing new there. So there we go, black, look at the difference already. And then the model pops a bit more. And I'll let that dry. And then we'll put the, the purple one. Right, so let's start dried now. So it's time to do some purple. Sorry about the, the heavy pervy breathing. I sort of hold my breath while I'm painting when I let it out. <laughs> it sounds a bit weird, right? So that's the my base purple. Just a wee spodgy that. Nice messy palette for you as well. None of this tidy up nonsense. And this is the oh, can you see that? That's the the colour I use for just mixing it so you get the different highlights. And we terrible brush there. Yeah. Oh dear. Just budget it on a couple of places. Just like that. That's it. Let that dry. Right, that's the purple dry. Time to just put a wee bit of the first highlight on that. There we go. Crappy dry brush. There we go, right. There's what's. See how it's died down quite a lot now from when it first went on. Me. It's just like the same colour but just slightly off, lighter. Wipe all that excess paint off and then just highlight all the raised edges on the, the spudges that you put on. You might be tempted to do the whole thing but it takes away from it. it doesn't look so glowing when you do it like that. Very noticeable at the minute, but the second 
the second highlight, really, really pick it up. Going and do the rest of them and then get back to you once that's dry. Mm, that's all dry now, and then we just got a really more white on it and just very, very, very slight amount of purple. And then just this really touch the, ra the raised. Points where hmm. that's it. When that dries, it should look no bad. So that's how I do my gloom spike bases. Bog standard, simple, and then they look brilliant. Easy peasy, Danny. You'll spend all the time on them. I might add a few. I might add a few uh, tufts, uh, wasteland style grass and whatnot, but for all essential purposes, they're, they're finished. Now I just need to go in and paint their knives and their eyes and maybe a wee bit more work on the shields. I don't know yet. It's a little off.